Hi everyone, this is Dale Tate, and I just want to show you what I got in the mail today. This is something that I made the other day and posted on my Facebook page, uh, but I wanted to embellish it just a little bit more. All I did was, this is a, um, oh, let me grab the other one, I wasn't prepared, sorry. This is a, D, a uh, wood cutout from the Dollar Tree, and this is what it looked like originally. So it's nice, but I want to put my personal spin on it. So what I did was I sanded the front a little bit so that I got some of the glitter off, took this star, the leaf and the bow off, and replaced it with some flowers and a little simple ribbon. When I painted it, I just did lines trying to mimic the pumpkin. So yeah, it's okay, but I wanted to add something. So I just got my stencil in this morning. I'm trying a new project, and this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm gonna put a little stencil on there that says, Hello Pumpkin. So join me as I venture on this. Okay. The first thing they tell me you do with the decal is you peel the back off and you save it. Of course, peeling it off is easier said than done. Okay, it's not wanting to come off there. Let me try this corner. So have any of y'all tried any of the templates with the chalk? This is particularly called Magnolia Design. Um, I just discovered it this last weekend with a friend. And we really liked some of the projects we saw online. So we thought, well, let's give it a shot. So I ordered some things in, and I tell you what, I am just really being challenged with this backing. I'm sure that once I get it off, it'll be okay. You want to save it because you put it back on again to protect the adhesive backing. I've almost got it, so bear with me, and I apologize for the delay. And I will, if I decide to do these kind of workshops more, I will set up something a little bit differently but that didn't look like that's the way it's supposed to come off. So let me try another one. There we go. That looks better. Nope. Okay, what am I doing wrong? As you can tell, it's the first time I've done it. Okay, I would sing a dance for you, but you'd all leave if I did that, so... Sure, that's not the way it comes off because that's not sticky there. Okay, I'm going to try another one. This is called backing paper. And obviously, oh, there it comes. I was feeling on the wrong part. Oh, so much easier when you do it the right way. So all you do is you peel it off. And then because it is so sticky and you don't want to leave residue on it, they tell you to take it and they have a towel that you can use, but they said you can also use any other towel or you can press it to the front of your shirt and that'll fuzz it up a little bit to make it less sticky. So I've done that. Now I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna to try to get it straight and centered. Heaven only knows as I'm doing it from the side get the wrinkles out okay so I, whoops there's a wrinkle let me lift that up and straighten it out and the reason i'm not doing this live is because if i really mess it up i may not even show you all this video okay so we've got it down now remember this is my first time trying this so what I'm going to do is I want a combination of orange and green font. So all I'm doing is taking my chalk and stirring it up. And then I will dab some here, 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 here. I'm not sure how much to dab, so I'm just going to dab away. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got that done. Now let's grab some green. You know, I think I want some more orange. 
fact, I may make the pumpkin all orange. And all you do is just spread it around. And I've got a squeegee that I'll spread it with, but I want to make sure I've got plenty of chalk there without wasting it. Okay. Now I'm going to dab some green after I stir it. Or as my mother would have said, stir it. You know, I don't know if y'all had parents that pronounced things differently. My dad always put a ER on the end of his. Like, we lived in Florida, and we were close to Tampa. Well, he called it Tamper. So, uh, I don't know if y'all have little things like that going on with your family. I think it's kind of neat to remember them. Another funny is I don't call my dad dad. I didn't call him dad. I called him daddy. I don't know why, but I always put an E in there instead of an A. Okay, we will see if I have enough ink here, or chalk, sorry, wrong word. And now I'm gonna take the squeegee and I'm gonna do the orange first. So I'm just gonna cover the pumpkin and make sure I've got it. And then I'm just going to go across. Oh, I had plenty of chalk. And then all you do when you take it off is you wash the front of the template with water and then you leave it dry, sticky side up. So I may have had too much orange. Let me find something to lay this on. Um, here we go. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to take something that I was using with another craft and lay it on that. So bear with me. Okay, then peel it off. Are you ready for the reveal? What I understand is all I have to do now is let it dry. And if I'm using it inside, I do not need to seal it. If I'm going to use it outside, I do need to seal it. And I just use a clear spray. Okay, it's coming. Let's see how it looks. I think I should have stuck a little bit more on my shirt. But there it is. So, what do you think? First time's a charm. Thanks for watching.